Now we are ready to install Grid Infrastructure software on our Rack nodes. We'll log in as Grid user on Rack 1 node. Our Grid Infrastructure software is already unzipped and ready to be installed. We'll locate the Run Installer script and we'll launch the Run Installer script to start the GUI for installing Grid Infrastructure software. We'll choose uh, to install and configure grid infrastructure for a cluster. We'll select advanced installation. English is the default language for this installation. We'll select the proper scan name which is rack-scan.mydomain. We are not going to use grid naming service, so we disable the configure GNS. Here you can see the rack1 node is already added to the list of the nodes. We will add rack2 details and rack2 whip details also we need to provide. Now we will set up SSH connectivity which is a secure shell connection between two nodes and this is a passwordless connection between two nodes. Installer will automatically set this up for us. We can test the passwordless connection between two nodes and it is successful. Now if you remember ETH0 is our public e Ethernet or public network and ETH1 is our private interconnect and pro these uh, Ethernets are properly configured as public interface and the private interface will continue. We'll select ASM as our storage. Now here it is asking for a disk group uh, which will be used to store OCR. So we'll create a disk group name called OCR. For this disk group we'll select the redundancy as external and we'll select one disk of OCR which is ASM disk of 2 GB. Now here we have to provide a sys password for the ASM instance. I am choosing a simple password so installer will throw out a warning. We will ignore this and continue. Now we are not going to use intelligent platform management interface. Now here the groups OSDBA will be ASM DBA, OS OPER will be ASM OPER and OS ASM will be ASM admin. This is for the ASM instance. Oracle base, um, remember we are not going to use OFA uh, conventions for this installation. So we'll specify the oracle base as slash app slash oracle base. And software location will be grid home in this case. So slash app slash grid home. We'll click next and installer will quickly check if these locations exist on all nodes that is on both the nodes. Now we have to specify Oracle inventory location and it will perform some prerequisite checks. If any of the prerequisite checks fail then it will provide us with the scripts and we can select fix and check again option. It will build up the scripts and it will show us what scripts to execute. 
here it is asking us to run temp cvu version underscore grid run fixup dot shell script and installer is telling us to run this script on rack to node first so from here we'll connect to rack to node using ssh and you can see we don't have to provide password we're changing the user to root that's where we provided the password now we'll run this script and rack to node we already executed the script so we'll go back to the rack one node and run the same script that will take care of any uh, prerequisites which failed now when we hit ok here it will run the prerequisite check again and if nothing comes up it goes to the summary screen now here is the summary screen we can review the summary we can also save uh, the entire response file like all the options we selected will be saved into a response file and when we hit finish it will start installing the grid infrastructure software and remember that uh, we don't have to do this installation on the second node or any other nodes because installer itself will do the binary copy or all the binary files will be installed on all nodes now installer is prompting us to run couple of scripts using the root privileges so we'll open a command window and first thing it is asking us to run is aura inist root dot shell script this is under aura inventory for both these both of these scripts we have to have root privileges so we'll elevate our privileges to root run the script on the first node and then connect to the second node run the same script now this root.sh is very important script what it will do is uh, if you notice it will try to set up a lot of keys here and after after this step is done if we carefully watch it will start uh, the oracle high availability services and all the components required for a grid So you can see the OCR disk is created and all other services are being started. Now we have completed running this root.sh on the rack1 node. We'll have to run the same thing on rack2 node. After completing this script, uh, we will take a minute and verify the grid infrastructure software components and make sure they are running on both nodes. We will go to the grid home bin folder as a root user and we will use the crsctl command to check the status of the current node. So here we can see cluster ready services are online, CSS synchronization services are online and event manager is online on the current node. Now using the cluster minus all option we can check that all these three services which are key services for rack grid infrastructure are on on both the nodes. You can continue with the installer and installer will perform some more configurations like oracle net configuration asm private interconnect configuration 
and cluster verification utility. Now, uh, in our setup, cluster verification utility might fail because we are using VMware and we don't have the real hardware. We can look at the details for this error and details are written into a log file. So we can review the log file later but as we checked all the all the grid related components are running so our installation was successful we can just ignore this error for now to ignore we'll click on skip with this we have completed the grid infrastructure installation and we can proceed to installing oracle rdbms software also note uh, that the grid infrastructure uh, software installation log is written to the file and we can review the log for any errors or detailed information about installation. Now we will log in as grid user and we will create ASM disk groups which we will use later in the installation. First thing we need to do is set up the Oracle environment. We'll have to select the ASM instance. Now we can launch ASM CA, which is ASM Configuration Assistant. Now if you quickly notice here, uh, ASM1 and ASM2 instances are running on both nodes. When we go to the disk groups, you can see OCR is already existing because we created it during the grid infrastructure installation. Now we'll create a new disk group for data and we'll select the redundancy as external. We'll select one disk which is data disk. It's a 10 GB disk. Now we will create one more disk group for fast recovery area. Redundancy will be external and we have one more disk left over. It, it is also of 10 GB size. Now we have three disk groups, data, FR and OCR and if you notice we it says mounted two of two. That means these disk groups are mounted on both instances of ASM and rack one has plus ASM one instance and rack two has plus ASM two instance and both the ASM instances are up and running. 